Hey girl, hey! So, I recently got some stuff from the MAC New Collections, Peacocky and Champagne, and one random thing that um, is kind of interesting. We're gonna start from the Peacocky collection. In the collection, they only had um, giant mega metal eyeshadows, is what they're called, and um, kissable lip colors. So, this I got one mega metal eyeshadow, and this is in center stage. It's pretty huge. Like, bigger than my eye. It's like an eye patch. Like, it covers my eyebrow to my under eye circles. So, like, it's pretty insane. But, like, compared to a regular MAC eyeshadow, there we go. So, it's a good, at least a third bigger, maybe half even, like two times as big. Mega Metal has 3.4 grams, and a regular eyeshadow has 1.5. So it is more than half the size of a regular eyeshadow is what it looks like. It's a really deep brown color, but what I like about this, it looks like an average brown, but when you swatch it, it's got some really nice warm gold tones to it that don't really show in the pan. It's not even showing here, but it's really, really pretty on. I'm wearing it in my outer corner right now, and I have a tutorial coming up on this look, so you can see how I use this, and it's really, really cool, and... But I just love how big it is. Like, I'll never run out of this. The only other two things I got from this collection, the Peacocky, was two kissable lip colors. I couldn't resist. I mean, a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. Maybe we could form that into one world. Whip lip glock. Lip glock. It's a lip glick. Lip glick? Yeah, it's a lip glick. Lipstick and lip gloss. So, with these amazing lip glicks, um, I got So Vain, which is this color, and I got Enchante, which is this color. And I think I'll go with Sylvain first. Honestly, this online looked a lot different to me. Even on camera, it's looking lighter. But um, it's kind of like a really dark coral color. And it's kind of orange on. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of orange to me. And I thought it was more pinky and lighter. But it's not. Looks like that. It's like, I thought it was going to be more nude. But, I mean, if you're looking for a nude lip gloss, maybe I should call Snooky up. Hey, Snooky! I found the perfect nude lip color for you! And the other color I got is Enchante, and I really like this color. I mean, I still like So Vain, it's just not what I thought it was going to be, and it doesn't look as good on me as I thought it was going to, but I mean, I still like it, it's a nice color. Um, Enchante, on the other hand, I really like this color. This is what I thought I wasn't going to use as much, and I was going to use So Vain all the time, but this one, I actually like better. It's so pretty, like, I don't know, it's like, I heard it was supposed to be like Viva Glam Gaga, but I don't think it's like it that much. I mean, the colors like it, but it's definitely more wearable because it's warmer than Viva Glam Gaga, and it's not, it doesn't have that ugly blue undertone to it. I mean, I think it's ugly. I mean, it just doesn't look good on me, the blue undertone. But this one, this on the other hand, is warmer, and it looks really pretty. So this is a Viva Glam Gaga lip gloss. It's a lot more glossy, pigmented blue undertone, so I think Enchante is definitely more wearable. <gasps> Sorry, that was kind of random. But as far as the consistency of these, I'm in love. Like, I never reapply lip gloss when I'm at school. Like, never. I'll maybe put it on in the morning and then put it in my bag. And then I just never reapply it because I either forget or don't think it's worth it. I don't even know. I, I think I'm the only person that doesn't reapply their lip colors throughout the day. I just never do. Um, it's not really important to me, I guess. But this, I was actually reapplying it because I love it so much. And it is like a lipstick and a lip gloss. A lip squawk. What did I call it? I don't know. Whatever. And... I love the consistency of it. The smell, like in the tube it smells kind of weird, but like when it's on it kind of smells like vanilla and I don't know, it just goes on so smooth. It's not sticky, but it's not like super smooth either. But oh, I just love, love, love these. Like these, these are amazing. I am in love with these and I hope, I know that they're limited edition, but I hope um, MAC brings them back sometime, a kissable lip color. And I So next from the Champagne collection, I got two things. These are all lip products, the rest of them. Um, so they're mostly lip products. The only eye product is that Mega Metal eyeshadow. But first of all, is this Lip Gilet, Gilet, Gil Gilet? How do you say that? Gil Gilier. I don't know. I don't know if it's French or whatever, but, um, it is just pretty much a lip gloss. It's clear, but it has, like, dual chrome of pink and blue and yellow and all this stuff. And it's really, really nice. I love the smell of these. Oh my god, it smells amazing, like vanilla cupcakes. That's my favorite smell, it's pretty much like vanilla cupcakes, which a lot of MAC does their, um, smells like that, which is amazing. Really, Dad, do you have to turn the blender on right now? Okay, of course, as soon as I say that, he stops. Oh, it, this is amazing, and it comes with a lot of product here. It's, like, longer than my nose. Oh, it's, like, longer than my eyebrow span. 
eye span. There we go. That, that's about it. It goes on really nice. It, the thing is, this sparkle is a little bit too chunky for me. I mean, it's not at all really. It's really fine. But for me, it is a little bit on the chunky side. You can't feel it or anything. It's just the way it sparkles and stuff. But, I mean, this could work just alone and everything. And it makes your lips feel really nice, too. So, I like this. This thing is the tinted lip conditioner in calm mode and I love my petting pink tinted lip conditioner so I thought I'd get one of these. This smells disgusting. Like I really want to puke. Oh 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 my god. The other ones smell like vanilla which is my favorite smell obviously. This is supposed to smell like lavender. It smells disgusting. I'm sorry if you like this smell. Personally I don't. I like sweet scents. I don't like flowery scents. This isn't even flowery. It's like weeds. Oh, okay. I can't imagine myself putting this on my lips. Oh my god. I mean, I used it once and the smell wasn't that bad when it was on, but like I couldn't, oh, I hated putting it on. And it's a nice color, like it's a nude pink color. I, I, you can see I used a little bit of it. But it smells disgusting. Oh my god. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I am so sorry if I'm offending you right now, but everyone has their own opinions, you know, whatever. I hate the smell of this like I really just don't like it at all so if you didn't get the point already I kind of hate it okay the very last thing in this haul I know it was kind of small but not just rhymed I know I'm so cool this is a lipstick and this is a regular line lipstick and this is in bombshell and it's a really pretty color but the weird thing is I have absolutely no memory of buying this like at all and I'm really confused right now I just don't remember looking at the lipsticks online, I don't remember putting it in my cart, I don't remember paying for it. So either I'm going to have to, you know, sue Mac for putting something on my order that I didn't order, or I'm going to have to sue my doctor for not telling me my memory was going this fast. Anyway, aside from that, um, to be honest I probably did put it in there, I just don't remember it at all. I, I really don't. Um, but this color is really pretty, like for all the colors that I would have put in by mistake or anything. I'm glad it was this one because I never even heard of, no I have heard of this. I don't know it sounds familiar but it's such a pretty color like oh my god I think it's one of my new favorite lipsticks to be honest so I'm really glad I got it. It's a um again it's bombshell and it's a frost so it is kind of frosty but not much at all. It's just got this really nice finish. It's a metallic like wearable everyday pink color except I like it better than like angel or something. I really like it. Like it's really really pretty. I love it. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's one of my new favorite lipsticks. So I'm really glad for whatever reason it was got into my cart. But I love it. So yeah, I'm wearing it right now. But there's some like other products over it that kind of changes the color a little bit. So you can't see. But I use it in the tutorial that I filmed for this. That was it. So I hope you guys enjoy. And you can check out all these products. I love them all except for this thing. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. And have a good Saturday if I upload this on the right day.